So whether it's the loo, the john, the can, the throne, or just the plain old toilet, when you gotta go and you're able to, it's a beautiful thing. But when you gotta go and you can't, not so beautiful. Welcome to my channel, Dr. Hope here. In this video, I'm gonna give you three ways to make yourself go poop, or have a BM, or crap, or defecate, or discharge, or detox, or colon cleanse, or whatever you wanna call it. In general, a healthy person have a bowel movement uh, three times a day or three times a week. And on occasions, we all get a little constipated. If you've gone longer than three days without having a bowel movement, your fecal material can harden and it may be difficult to pass. Fecal material is a combination of undigested and unabsorbed food waste, in addition to bacteria and also dead cells from the internal GI tract. Ideally, it's about 75% water. So what exactly happens when you eat? There are actually six stages of the digestive process, but I'm gonna break it down in three sentences. You ingest your food, your pharynx and your esophagus further propels it down the digestive tract. Then your stomach, small intestines, large intestines, liver, pancreas, and gallbladder, then mixes, breaks down, absorbs, and eliminates waste. Now, there are things that can affect how or when you eliminate, such as stress, not enough water or fiber in your diet, resisting the urge, certain medications, inactivity, and of course, more serious issues like IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, uh, eating disorders, colon cancer, and neurological conditions. Before I get into the three ways, don't forget to hit that like button, Subscribe and share this video so other people can know how to get rid of crap. Huh? <laughs> the first is by doing a water flush. So you wanna drink lukewarm water first thing in the morning on an empty stomach and throughout the day you wanna drink about six to 10 glasses of water. In addition to that, just eat foods that are high in water content only, just fruits and vegetables that are high in water content such as watermelon, celery, tomatoes, and you will do this all day and if needed um, by the end of the day or the end of day two, you'll have a really good uh, flush and uh, elimination. The second way is by taking probiotics. This boosts the good bacteria in your gut and it helps support elimination. Apple cider vinegar and water, pickles and other fermented foods are a great source of probiotic. I did a video on the benefits of apple cider vinegar and water for weight loss. I'll put a link in the description and uh, maybe throw a video at the end that you can easily click on. Also, you can get probiotics in a supplement form. I'll put the link of the one I also use in the description as well. The third way is through a salt water flush. Now, a salt water flush helps to detox your body, cleanse your colon, and it helps to relieve constipation. It involves drinking a mixture of warm water and non-iodized salt. Salt water flush has a laxative effect and it can cause an urgency to have you use the bathroom or have a bowel movement within 30 minutes to an hour. To perform the flush, you wanna dissolve two teaspoons of non-iodized sea salt into four cups of warm water. You may also add a teaspoon of lemon juice just to kind of help the taste, but you wanna drink it as quickly as possible, preferably on an empty stomach first thing in the morning. This can also be done at night as well, but you wanna wait several hours after your last meal before uh, performing this flush. So here are the things you'll need to perform your salt water flush. You'll need two bottles of water. These are the standard 16.9 ounces, but all you pretty much need are six, two 16 ounce bottles. You also need coarse sea salt. Coarse sea salt is preferred to the fine sea salt. In general, the fine sea salt 
also has additives and preservatives, notably the anti-caking agency to keep the salt free flowing. So if you look at the ingredients, you'll see where uh, preservatives are added as opposed to the coarse sea salt. The ingredients here is simply a sea salt. Of course, you'll also need your teaspoon, a teapot, kettle, or a microwave safe container. Now go ahead and pour your water into the kettle. This is about four cups of water, equivalent to about 32 ounces or one liter. Then you wanna uh, just warm your water. You don't wanna bring it to a boil, so if you're using a kettle or a microwave, just get it warm enough so that you can still um, ingest it without it being hot. So I'll let this uh, mildly heat up and then I'll dissolve the salt inside of the water. Now that my water is slightly warm, I'm gonna pour them in these glasses. Now you wanna be careful when you're using glasses to make sure that your water isn't uh, very hot. I've already tested the temperature and know that it's um, a tolerable temperature to not only dissolve my salt, but to also uh, consume. These glasses are about 16 ounces each, so I'll just go ahead and pour my warm water in each of them. Now I'm going to dissolve one teaspoon of coarse sea salt in each of the glasses of water. Now, I realize the direction calls for two teaspoons of sea salt in 32 ounces of water. However, because I don't have a container large enough to uh, just put 32 ounces, I am splitting them evenly and dissolving one teaspoon in each 16 ounce glass. Once the salt is completely dissolved, drink all 32 ounces within five minutes. And be sure to stay close to a restroom because within 30 minutes to an hour, you'll definitely have the urge to empty your bowels. You'll have an urge to have a bowel movement shortly after performing this flush. Now, it's important to know that note that drinking salt water can cause some nausea. Some people even experience cramping, bloating, and dehydration as well. Cleansing in general can cause electrolyte imbalance and a sodium overload, which can lead to high blood pressure. So it's really important to not perform this type of flush too often. It's also important to make sure that you don't have any contraindications, uh, such as high blood pressure, pregnancy, diabetes, heart problems, kidney problems. So it's important to speak to your doctor before uh, doing this type of flush. And another note, doing the saltwater flush too often uh, may cause an imbalance in the microbiome of your intestinal tract. So it's important to add uh, probiotics that will help to balance out your uh, intestinal flora. Your digestive system plays such an important role in your overall health. It brings the nutrients that your body needs into your system so that you can remain healthy. Here's to increase regularity and decrease constipation. If you like the information you received today, please don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment and let me know if there's anything that you want to see on this channel, uh, any health tip, health information, and even hope. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. God bless.